Adele has been creating a lot of buzz lately, especially with a picture that she recently posted on Instagram to celebrate her 32nd birthday last week. And it sparked a lot of comments about her weight loss. Yeah, um, her dietitian spoke out saying Adele's body transformation was, was not so much about her getting super skinny or anything like that. That was not the objective. It was about getting her to be a little more healthy. And Jen is in media to tell us more about it. Yeah, so this diet that she went on is called the CERT, S-I-R-T, CERT food diet. And it is all about reducing inflammation. Obviously, if you have some weight to lose, it can help with that too, because what this alleges to do is turn on your skinny gene. And how it works is you use a lot of food, more fruits and vegetables than most Americans are used to. So we talked to the guy who wrote the book. His name is Aiden. He was in Dublin, so you'll hear his accent. And I had to ask first about the whole Adele connection. It, like Adele obviously is very private when it comes to any, her, you know, to her personal life and no more so than her weight, as we've all seen. And, you know, she's came out in the past and she's shown public, you know, publicly extreme dieting and she hates extreme exercise, you know, so we are, you know, we, we are limited in what we can say to about that. Our link to Adele is that she, when she was on tour, she had a good friend of hers who we worked with, one of the best trainers around, true run, wonder trainer, Peter Asimov. He was her on tour trainer, um, and he was just a massive fan of the surgery diet. So this trainer guy also works with people like Conor McGregor and um, Pippa Middleton. So a lot of like British people who have had pretty good transformations and the transformation seemed to stick because of this diet. So of course I had to ask him, what is the hardest part? Remember the first three or four days you're juicing and you have one meal, about a thousand calories. So I said, other than dealing with that, what's the hardest part? The hardest part is the preparation. You do have to set aside time to prepare the meals. If you're not used to cooking all your meals, you know, meals from scratch, now you have to do all your meals from scratch. You've got to source some new ingredients. They're all available in the supermarkets, but you may not be used to where they're located. And then you got to get used to the juicing process as well. So yeah, it is, you know, we do say you need to kind of prepare in advance, especially for families who have children pulling out of them, trying to work from home. We are very conscious of that. He did say that, you know, now might be a nice, a nice time to do it because we are at home. We are cooking at home. We're preparing stuff at home. And again, a lot of the things are like walnuts and dark chocolate, red wine, things we've heard about before. But he said the bottom line with this, it's getting all the good stuff and adding that to what you might already be eating. It's not about telling yourself, saying no. It's about creating a positive attitude of food. It's a wonderful thing where you're eating food to say, this is good for me, not have that guilt in the back of your mind. And it's a wonderful thing to say, actually, if I add more in here, I will reap more benefits. And these aren't, you know, hold your nose and choke them down foods. You know, we're on about that you can make amazing, wonderful meals. We've got, you know, amazing curries. We've got steaks. We've got pizzas in the book. We, you know, we've got chocolate treats, you've got the glasses of red wine, your coffee, you know, nothing is denied here. It's just showing you the way that you can make your favorites in a really healthy manner, packing in these sirtuin activating nutrients to turn on your sirtuin genes and reap the benefits. So Aiden, just so you know, used to be a pharmacist. So for the first part of his career, he watched people buying all these weight loss drugs and he thought that wasn't really working out very well either. So him and his guy, they kind of got together and wrote this up. Now to be clear, check out this full screen. There's phase one and like a lot of these jumpstart diets, you're juicing. So you're doing a lot of juicing, little bit of eating, and then by day four, you're eating two meals a day. And so the biggest thing is, is there's this cookbook. And he was pretty cool about it. He's like, you can order it. Most of the recipes are out there, but a lot of the things that you're cooking, they involve like figs and just more healthier ver kale. We've heard that's good for us. Um, but I have to say any diet that involves red wine and a pizza, I might be there for it. Um, guys, a lot of athletes are into this. He's got a lot of footballers and cricketers and people that are in England, obviously. Diet's been around for about five years, so not super new over there, but obviously caught everyone's attention because of Adele.
talking to it. What the heck? Nicely done, Jen. <laughs> uh,